everyone and thank you for joining us. My name is Andy and I'm here with Luke and we are here to present a brand new instrument to you. Luke. We are. This is uh, the Nautilus and this is, I, I'm kind of describing it like a streamlined Kronos because it has a lot of the technology that was uh, there in the Kronos and yep. it's been there for a few years and people are, seem to like. Yep. So we've kind of taken that, distilled it down a little bit into a more affordable package with pretty much all the power of Kronos. Wow, okay. So, yeah. Good. It's very cool. Um, right. So what we've done is we've still retained the program combi sequence mode, which we've had on our workstations for many years. Yep. We've also still got the set list. Great. Which um, pro musicians love. Yeah, yeah. Um, for uh, using it also for the sound, smooth sound transitions as well. And with the set list, sorry, you can still, that can jump between combi program and sequence. At the, Absolutely, yeah. and button, you can so color yeah. code it as you can see here on the screen. Yeah. Um, controls wise, we've stripped it back a little bit. So we've got these knobs here, which actually push in and out. So that's really useful for when you're transporting it so you're not in danger of damaging it. But also if you just want to set it and then not have it fiddled with or knocked by mistake. Like a, like a parameter lock kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you can kind of just okay, push them in, which is, cool. which is nice as well. We've added a, a dynamics control as well. So this is like a, kind of like a compressor really, like we've okay. added onto the um, Vox Continental yeah. and also the Grand Stage. So that's really good if you're playing live and you just want to bring yourself front and center to the, to the mix. You could just turn that on and then crank it. So that so doesn't affect the, the sensitivity of the keys, that is about, that's a sonic. It's like the dynamics of the keys, if you like. So if you're playing a piano sound, it means you don't have to really work so hard to okay. get your sound yep. out there. So that's really useful to have that on there as well. We've added an octave shift, which we never actually had on the Kronos. We always had to program these um, buttons. So that's I never really realized good. that. How can that be? Yeah, no, <laughs> okay, fair enough. So that's really handy, actually. You'll find that really handy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's kind of streamlined on the top there. Um, but everything's there you need. Plus you've got quick access buttons. So instead of having loads and loads of buttons for different things, you can now program it yeah, how okay. you want. So oh, nice. the way I've programmed it is similar to my Kronos really. I've got program in the middle, then I've got combi, then I've got sequence, and then I've got um, set list here. Yeah. And then these two, I've actually just programmed for global mode and uh, media mode, just like it would be on a Kronos, but you can literally make those whatever you want. They can even be start and stop in the sequencer or yeah. favorite pages, whatever it is. And so. size wise, we obviously got the 61 here. Yeah, 61, the... also available in the 73, yeah. non-weighted, okay. so different from the Kronos, yeah. and then the 88 full, um, full size as well. Great. With weighted keys. Very nice. Very so a nice. um, whole bunch of new sounds in here as well. So um, we've taken kind of the cream of the Kronos uh, sounds and then made some extra ones as well. Okay. Yeah. This piano actually is really nice. This is um, a concert grand, but we've used the same technique that we used with the, um, the drums on the Kronos to have like a distant mic, so to get some room ambience, nice. and then some close mics as well. Which works incredibly well, rather than adding reverb, actually adding the, the, the real sort of resonance of the room. Absolutely, that it's yeah. yeah. And then your yeah, voice, you can adjust these via this screen. Obviously it's a touch screen here, so we can yeah, the screen looks a little different, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's different colours to this Kronos. Pr pretty much just similar graphics, um, slightly different shape as well. Yeah. Um, still seven inch um, size. So yeah, and it's it's really cool. Again, you can just touch the screen and edit oh, what you lovely. want to do. Yeah. So, and it's got gesture control as well, so you can touch and drag as well, which nice. is really important. We can do stuff like that. So anyway. a winner when you're doing a demo. Open and close the lid of grand piano. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So let's have a listen, because there's far too much yep. talking, so. Rich 
Um, so there's a lot of detail in this new piano sample. Are we hearing a blend of close mic and the, the rim mic? Yeah, you're hearing the blend of the two and then of course you can change that. So I can just take one out. So in here in the room, oh, okay. or in the close. So That's we can great. really That's shape really that nice. sound as we want it, which is great. And then of course you just do it as you want, drop that down, right program, saved. Beautiful. A nice use of the uh, transpose button I saw at the end there as well. Oh yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Quick demo of that bang. <laughs> Came Very in good. handy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go back into my set list here and show you a couple of other new pianos which have been sampled. Lovely, okay. Um, so we've got upright pianos. We never actually had upright pianos in the Kronos before, not, not um, in this interface, where again, we can have it closed, we can nice. have it open. So, <laughs> um, so we can get this kind of thing. see we've got drum track still yeah so you can go in there set a drum pattern going change the tempo which is up the top right there to whatever pattern you want um, we've actually changed the structure of that now where you can have four different scenes because we haven't got karma on here we still got the ability to have different scenes so you can set up the arpeggiator and drum tracks and then step between them oh, okay she's quite useful. Good, so yeah. I'll, I'll show you how that works a bit later but it's really good um, and you've also got this nice small grand, so. So you can hear down the bottom end there. It's, it sounds not like a full nine foot concert no. grand, but it doesn't also sound like, a, like an upright. It's somewhere in between. So you've got different sizes of pianos depending on yeah, lovely. You know, what sort of sound you want to create. Great. There's literally yeah, loads of pianos within that engine. And of course, we've retained the engine um, kind of um, terminology, if you like, or, or concept from the Kronos. Great. So we've got nine engines in here. So the engine we're looking at at the moment is the piano engine. Um, and within that piano engine, we've added even extra stuff like prepared pianos. So prepared pianos were used um, originally a lot in kind of 20th century experimental music. Okay. Basically putting things inside the piano, things okay. like rubbers and coins and screws, right, to okay. make unusual sounds. That's, so that's called that's a paper prepared piano. So that's got some, literally some paper inside the piano vibrating with the strings to make different sounds. But if I go through some of these lists, you've got some, some, let's take the reverb down a little bit so you can hear a bit. Coins. Very, very cinematic sounding, yeah. isn't it, as well? Yeah, brilliant so, for yeah. that sort of stuff. A razor, so you get that kind of dampened, muted. Yeah. You'd never in a million years think, think oh, well, piano. Yeah, would you? no, you wouldn't, yeah. And it's brilliant because it kind yeah. of opens up that, um, that possibility to, to take it into different places. Yeah. So experimental, really cool. Um, there's loads of other sounds in here as well, of course, in your different engines. So if you go into the electric piano, the EP1, you get a really nice interface on the screen. Looks like the front panel of a Rhodes. You've got your pedal plugged in, which you can change. You can bring in your effect here. So we've got some chorus, let's bring that in. list here of different pedals all based on classic stomp boxes brilliant so that's really nice yeah, that's really cool uh, that's actually a new um, Fender Rhodes sample as well so they've, they've we've added quite a few extra stuff we haven't just taken the stuff from the Kronos and thrown it in there. No, it's been no. carefully thought out what we're going to reuse and then adding some new things as well that's great which is nice um, you've got your CX3 engine as well of course so great for organs So you can change the rotary speed with the wheel there. Yeah. So 
and then you can model Leslie speaker or CX3. Yeah. Um, of course, you can see your draw bars, shape those if you want to. So, yeah, it's it's like having everything from the Kronos, but in a performance keyboard almost. I mean, it, really nice. it does look quite e easy to navigate, actually. You're, 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 yeah. almost, the set list makes it all incredibly easy to jump from place to place. Yeah, it, it, so, yeah. it really does. Uh, the secret is to, obviously, if you're doing a gig or something like that, the set list is king because you can do all the hard work beforehand and then just have it all there. You can, As you can see, you can put comments in. I've made that really big just so I can see it easily today, but that could have I changes have, in. Or I could have Andy less reverb, couldn't it? Yeah, that would definitely, that would be on every <laughs> patch of yours, I think, yeah. So. yeah thanks for that, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, other new sounds we've got in here. We've got this really nice new string sound. So you, yeah, you've got that really nice dynamic, heavily bowed string sound. Yeah, really nice. Which um, is very usable for lots of different things. I was trying to think of an Avengers pun, but I couldn't. <laughs> so I'll leave it. We'll move on then. Yep. <laughs> Guitars. So we're in the HD1 Ooh. engine at the moment, uh, at the octave. Really nice really strummed nice. guitar. And a tiny little tweak made an awful difference then as well. Yeah, so really what you generally great. find with these two end ones, you've got an, an effect depending what they've programmed and then reverb as well, so you can quickly just get in there. Kill the reverb if you want to, or give it some more. Or some chorus in this case. Or have yeah. it more clean. So is this, is this the modelling engine? Is that what it's doing? Or is this, this is no, this is, this is the sampling is. engine. This is the HD1. But funny you should mention that because there is a mod string modelling one as well. So mm. if you want to model, instead of just sam straight sampling strings, you can model them as well using the SDR1 engine. Um, so this uh, clean electric guitar has been made using that engine. Yeah. Mm. Really, really usable and playable sounds. And really beautiful, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So, uh, of course, you've got some classic legacy Korg synths in there, like the MS20. Complete with um, your full engine in there and your patch bay as well, so you can do your virtual patching in there, which is brilliant. brilliant. Nothing quite sounds like MS20. <laughs> um, of course, we can, using the HT1 engine we were using before, we can emulate wave sequencing as well. So we've kind of got a wave station built in here as well. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's so much in here. It's, it's incredible, really. Uh, also, of course, Poly 6. Yep. Another famous synth from the 80s from Korg. I like Poly. And again, that's when your real-time controls can really come in, just yeah. to filter it down. And if you bring in your drum track, that will then um, sync to that. We're using the arpeggiator here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, sounds great. That's good. Um, you've also got another engine called AL1. So this one is an analog um, modeling engine, basically yep. for synths. Um, so. Again, bring in the drum track. Kind of really big um, stacks of it. It's a shame we hadn't done that earlier because we could have used that as like a montage for setting the whole. Especially like, that set, bit. The set, yeah, yeah. Right bit there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Ideal. That was really good. Yeah, this, this, it, and it, and literally, I'm only scratching the surface because I'm just kind of picking out one sound out of each engine. I was going to say, are we on programs at the moment? Yeah, we're we still on programs. Oh, yeah, we could do some so, combis. Yeah, we we'll do combis in a minute. I just want to show you a couple more. Cool. So this one is a mod seven. Okay. So this is um, FM. Yeah. So this is completely authentic. You can even load vintage DX sounds into this. It's that good. Nice. Um, so it has that really kind of. A little bit sort of colder sound or harsher sometimes, but it has that glassy clean it does, feel, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And again, Very using nice. using that engine, it it demystifies FM a little bit because you've got a little patch bay where you can see where all the routings are going and yeah. use the traditional algorithms but it does more than that as well you can play back samples within it as well so you can kind of add in extra stuff into okay. that synthesis so right. just phenomenally powerful so you said about combis let's yeah. go into combi mode so I'm going to go into my set list I'm going to press that one and this is one of my combis yep. so I can press my button see what's on the screen looks very different this is the mode where you can take up to 16 programs stack them up Put them into zones, overlap them. It's very flexible. Really powerful. Um, yeah, yeah, really powerful. Brilliant for live because you can use these knobs as well to change the layers, or you can do it on screen. Um, and of course, just go into every single channel and change the sounds. So for this one, I've actually um, used the arpeggiator, well, the drum track actually, to allow me to bring in different um, patterns live, and also this particular button here is programmed to bring in and out different sounds. Okay. So I can start off with something like this. I'll just bring in the drums. Then if I want to, I can bring in more sounds. So that's okay. what the combo is really all about. It's about taking lots of different elements, putting them together. And of course, if you're playing live with a band, you, you could not use the drum trap, but you still got that accessibility to bring in your different parts, yep. mute parts on the fly, and then change the levels, which is really nice. I quite like the, the idea that you can then push the, uh, the pots down there as well. I was thinking you might just want to adjust one part of the overall sound. So actually yeah. really but then keep it useful. safe by pushing them all in again, yeah, yeah. which is um, sometimes useful. Yeah. Um, got some great effects in here as well. So this um, electric guitar sound, for example, um, is a lead sound. And again, we're in combi mode, so we can add some drums um, and the bass as well in this particular mode. So um, if I start this off, I've got this thing, sort of thing going. So we've got a big kind of bass line going, some drums. Yeah. And then a nice electric guitar. Ha <laughs> ha. 
bit sacrilege, sacrilegious playing a, a guitar solo on a keyboard, but it was a guitar synth, so yeah. I don't know where that kind of lies yeah. in there. I think it's okay. I think, yeah. you just, I think you just about got away with it there. Good, so I'm glad. So good. Yeah. yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, and of course, you've got the ability to stack loads of sounds together, so yep. you can do your big kind of orchestral stuff. With velocity oh, switching, yep. so... That all day, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds yes, great. It's a great, great patch. Now, of course, the third mode uh, we haven't touched on yet is the sequencer. Yeah. And it's just as powerful as it was in the Kronos. Um, if I just touch that quick access button there, it'll take me straight to my sequence mode. Um, so you've got 16 tracks of MIDI and also 16 tracks of audio. Nice. You've got an audio input at the back, so yep. you can plug in literally anything and record that. Uh, what I've done here is I've actually just imported a vocal. Um, sample okay stuck it into the sequencer so we can have a, a listen to that okay so we've got that in there and then i've just added some extra tracks um, using these other sounds so um, we've got things like my synth Strings, got my drum kit, Beautiful. and so on. So yeah, it's just incredibly easy just to build something up from scratch. It's fantastic. It. It's great. Well, I suppose that probably covers it for today, doesn't it? We yeah. could, we'll have to uh, dive a little deeper at some point. I think it's that sort of product that so, you can. Yeah. yeah, there's all the different elements of it. You could take, spend hours literally going through it. But yeah, hopefully that's given you a bit of a flavour okay. for, for what Nautilus is about. There we go. The uh, brand new called Nautilus. Thank you very much.